Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get into today's video well I'm just going to remind you the three books that are on sale drink tea and read the paper if you're a green belt and a black belt and you want simple instruction on how to apply your skill design of experiments for 21st century engineers and finally a statistical process control for small batch production. They are all available from lulu.com and the links are in the video below. Welcome to the latest video and in this video newsletter what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about one of the lean wastes. So we're going to talk lean and in particular I've decided to talk about one of the wastes that, well, it doesn't get much, uh, doesn't get much press, and when anybody talks about it, ah, they always seem to get it a bit mixed up. So we are going to talk about over processing. We're going to talk about over processing. Um, it's kind of one of the mo more subtle wastes. Um, as I say, it doesn't get much press, but people, to, when they try to give an example, they don't always give great examples of over-processing. Over-processing is, is really, um, I'll, I'll call it this, you could call it too much technology. Yeah, or, I don't know, too much bureaucracy would be another another way of describing it although I can't spell bureaucracy very easily so I'm not sure if that's correct but anyway um, sort of too much technology too much bureaucracy so a classic sort of bureaucratic over processing when I used to work for Sony um, we used to have an awful lot of air freight we used to bus in parts usually from Japan we'd stick them on a, an airliner it used to cost us a, a lot of money I think some some months it's cost us a quarter of a million pound um, in air freight and the price was never known before we started shipping the goods we would only know the price once we got the invoice and the managing director used to insist on signing the invoice and I used to have to take it up to him and, and a couple of months he said to me Paul I'm not signing this and I said well why and he said well because I don't want to pay the quarter of a million pound and I had to say to him Mike you don't have a choice we've had the service the service cost us a quarter of a million quid I'm not asking you to sign it to say we'll pay the bill the bill's got to be paid and really it was over processing now what Mike wanted to do is he wanted to question why we'd done it and he wanted to try and get the, the quantity down well the best way to get the quantity down was to get more organized and not do the air freight but what he insisted with me is I went and had this bloody argument with him every month it was over processing it's unnecessary but this is the one I want to talk about today too much technology and uh, I'm going to use one of my favorite organizations to hate which is Microsoft you would have to say their software at times is just bloody awful and their automatic updates just creates problems for everybody so let's talk about Microsoft and I'm going to use Microsoft Outlook so we're going to have a look at Microsoft Outlook and some of the daft things that the software people do not just Microsoft but but all of them so here's the bit of over processing and it's this silly slider bar here in my latest Outlook setup now I didn't set this up this is standard functionality but if you look at this slider bar here the bar doesn't appear until I move my mouse over it then the slider bar appears and now look I can move the slider up and down and I'm like what what is that all about number one you're hiding a feature that the customer wants to see the customer wants to know that this feature exists 
Number two, you've had to write software to do this. So you, you have to write the software. So you have to sit down and write this crap into the software. The other thing is, my computer has to process this bit of software. If you keep doing this with these daft little features, the, the program is bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. My computer slows down more and more and more. Plus you get the opportunity to put bugs in there. It's complete over processing. This is a feature I, I just don't need. It should never have been written. Then you would have saved, well, you probably would have sacked three developers because you wouldn't have needed them. You would have saved the developers, you would have saved their office space, you would have saved heating, lighting, pension costs, everything like that. My computer would be working better, I would have a much smaller computer, I'd be saving money. Man alive, the whole of society would be saving money if you didn't over-process your software. And here's another one for you. Here's another over-process. Look at these silly symbols over on the right-hand side. So here's an email. And on the right-hand side of my email now appears these silly symbols, which is the reply, forward, etc. symbols. Now, number one, they're right over on the right-hand side of the page. So when I click on an email, I have to travel the furthest I can to get to them. What's that about? But number two, they're already here. And they're much closer. Look, they're up here. The reply button is there. So I've now got the reply button twice. I have it once when it's got some words attached to it. So it actually says reply on it. And once I've got it on a button with a symbol. This one is much closer. This is, this is where I'm going to go to hit reply. I, I don't know what this is doing. I don't know why it's there. So now I've got this function twice. It isn't closer. It isn't quicker and easier. And again, it's had to be written into the software. The, the, the screen has had to be created. The user interface has had to be created. This is just too much technology. This is a developer who's not having enough coffee breaks. He's, just sit back and relax and stop designing this crap in that we just don't need. But it's a fantastic example of too much technology. We love technology. Everybody wants to automate everything. Everybody wants a computer version of data collection. And we just encourage these developers to just give us this crap that we don't need. Overprocessing, guys. Too much, too much technology, too much bureaucracy. It's a subtle thing, but you know what? If you get it, it's costing you bucket loads of cash. You buy software you don't want. You've got to buy, get IT people in, give them an office, heat the office, pay them a pension. Um, you have to keep updating the software. You have to keep doing installation projects. The costs related to doing this are just phenomenal. Guys, get the lean wastes, look at them critically, simplify your process, nail every single one of the seven wastes, and just save yourself a bucket load of cash and heartache. Over processing, get rid of it.